ask you about something I'm personally interested in. And I know you have some sections in your books about uh, aliens and UFOs. And so, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I don't know if you, you probably don't consider yourself an alien or UFO expert, but let's just kind of look at, I just wanted I to ask a lot you. about it actually. I okay. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, so what are your views right now about UFOs? Um, now that we have these lengthy and detailed reports from seemingly credible witnesses like Commander Fravor and also Bob Lazar, I know both have been on Joe Rogan's podcast, who claim observation of and interaction with these anomalous aircraft, as well as, and perhaps more importantly, these freaking videos that the military has now put out of these things that look like freaking ufos what what are, you, what are your thoughts well on they that? look like they look like what exactly i mean the one is called the tic tac ufo because it looks like well a tic tac so what what does that mean okay so let me let me back up and separate two separate questions are they out there have they come here so are they out there this is the seti question the search for extraterrestrial intelligence the subject of carl sagan's contact people familiar with this movie listening for a signal in the noise, signal detection problem, a series of prime numbers would not be produced accidentally by a neutron star, a rotating black hole, or a white dwarf, or anything like that. So it has to be an artificial signal, therefore, you know, somebody's out there. But that's a separate question from the second one that interests, you know, most people, and that is, have they actually come here? Uh, assuming they're out there, have they actually somehow traversed the vast distances of interstellar space and and they did what? They landed in Farmer Bob's field in Puckerbrush, Kansas, and made a crop circle. They, you know, mutilated some cows. You know, they did some anal probes on humans. Uh, they flew some uh, funky spacecraft near an aircraft carrier in San Diego area. I mean, this is what um, we are to expect the super advanced extraterrestrials to have done. The problem is, is that um, we have no evidence for, um, uh, for, for the affirmation of either of those hypotheses, that they're, they're out there or that they have come here. Most scientists think they, they probably are out there. That, that is to say, given the number of stars in every galaxy, given the number of planets that every, pretty much every star has, you know, the, just the odds of you know, us being the only life form in the universe is astronomically low. So now, first of all, if we encounter life, it's probably going to be bacterial grade life that we find on Mars or, or one of the planets of Saturn or Jupiter, something like that. But that, again, is not what people are interested in. They're interested in a, an intelligent communicating civilization, right? So there are attempts to search for that out there, like signals around a star that would show that the star is dimming because something is rotating around it that's not a moon or another planet that would be something like a Dyson sphere, which is a, you know, a, a hypothesized, Freeman Dyson hypothesized that an extraterrestrial and civilization can construct these massive solar panels in space to capture all the energy of a star uh, to fuel itself. And, uh, and we would see the signal of that in the infrared spectrum of you know, radio astronomy, something like that. But again, <clears throat> the chances of that, uh, of us finding that is very low. So the signal has to be really strong, really clear before scientists would say, okay, we accept that we have made contact or we have discovered an extraterrestrial civilization. Therefore, astronomers are very careful. There's been a few signals over the years, like, ooh, what's that? And, but no one holds a press conference. No one goes on Joe Rogan's podcast to talk about, you know, we've made contact with aliens. They're very, very careful to say, it's just an anomaly. We're going to wait and see this other um, astronomy group on the other side of the planet. They're going to check it when it comes over the horizon and they're going to look with their telescopes and so on. Uh, the UFO community, unfortunately, is not like that. They're not very skeptical. They start with the premise, we've been visited. Now let's see what we can find. Oh, look, here's this weird anomaly, this crop circle or this weird thing that happened to a cow or this person at three in the morning says they were abducted. Maybe we should take that seriously. Or Bob Lazar, this guy says he worked at Area 51, he saw the alien spacecraft and so on. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. ICRI is the principle made famous by Sagan, but really started by David Hume. That is, you should apportion your confidence and a belief to the evidence. So the more extraordinary the claim, we've been visited by aliens would be one of the most extraordinary claims ever made. 
And, and how extraordinary is the evidence for it? It's not even ordinary. It's pretty crummy, really. Blurry what, photographs. What, what, what about, what about the video? Videos. Yeah, but what about the military videos? For example, the, the TikTok video. And I'm not saying for sure this proves anything, but I'm just, I'm just looking at it. It seems to me like some of the most compelling evidence for this claim is the video from uh, Commander Fravor and a couple other of those military release yeah. videos. Okay, but, well, but wait, wait, but, as well back as. Up. Okay. For what claim? You see, it, the question is, what is being claimed? So you, the you and UFO is just, just unidentified. That's it. Right. Or uh, unidentified aerial phenomenon. Same, same thing. It's just, we saw something in the sky or on our radar and on our screen, or, and it's, it's quite difficult to make out. Okay. That's not very good evidence for extraterrestrials. It may be evidence for an anomaly. Okay, so anomalies are very common in science. What do you do with them? Nothing. You study them more. You collect more data. You try before you draw any conclusions about it. Now, some people have, have said that about those videos, but others have, you know, extrapolated way beyond that. Say, well, this is evidence of something big. Yep, no, it isn't. <laughs> now, the best analysis of this, I think, has been done by Mick West. Do you know Mick West? Mick West is a British. Um, uh, uh, well, he has a podcast and he has a, a website called um, um, Down the Rabbit Hole, I think it's called. Anyway, he's done the, and he knows a lot about videography, lighting, cameras, and so on. A lot of these things can be explained by the operations of the cameras themselves. That is, if the camera zooms in or zooms out, the object is going to look like it moves very quickly. Or if it's one of these fluor cameras that, uh, you know, that the, 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 the jet is moving along like this, but the camera is rotating beneath it to keep the object in, you know, in the center of the screen. This can make the object look like it's moving, but it's not moving. I mean, moving super fast, but it's actually just kind of moving very slow. You know, the Tic Tac object could very well just be a balloon, just kind of floating along, but they, you know, the way that they're filming it and moving the camera and zooming in and out, it makes it look like this thing is zipping around, but it's not. It's an artifact of the filming. Anyway, go to, I'm, I'm not explaining, it's hard to explain in words, he shows with visuals. And then he actually does some tests with cameras and shows, he's actually reproduced really what the Tic Tac video looks like and he can fake it, fake it, you know, just show that it's an artifact of the camera. So at the, at, at the very most, all we can say is there's some weird anomalies in this particular footage. It may be an artifact of the camera. It may be something that was actually out there. But even if you go to that route, something that was actually out there, then what? You know, well, <laughs> what does it mean? You know, it, it's nothing. We don't know what it means. It's just, you know, maybe, you know, we have a top secret program or the Chinese or the Russians. It doesn't mean extraterrestrial.